<laughs> almost. Almost done. Oh, I've done it. I finished all my tasks. Oh, an imposter. I don't like imposter. You know what to do. Hit the like button right now and I will hit him off this ship. Three, two, one. Pop. If you want to see some more Among Us, let's go for 10,000 likes and I'll do some more. Woo! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you have asked for it. Wait, literally nobody asked for this. But still, I wanted to do it, so I thought, hey, why not? You guys also really like my real-life Piggy creation, so if you like Piggy, then go and check that out. Anyways, guys, it is time for us to finally create these beautiful Among Us characters inside of Photoshop. And if for any reason you don't know what Among Us is, let me really quickly just explain it to you. You can either be a crewmate or an imposter inside of the game. If you're a crewmate, you must complete tasks and try to vote out the imposter. But if you are the imposter, Poster, it is your job to kill the crewmates before they get you out. And today, we're going to be creating those beautiful Among Us characters. So I have already taken a look around to see if anybody else is doing this. And guess what? Nobody else has created one of these characters in real life. And so I thought, why don't I be the first one to do it? Anyway, let's grab ourselves a random character. Maybe uh, one of these guys right here. Definitely not this one. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. So the first one I'm going to go with is a really a simple design, ladies and gentlemen. And that is going to be just a normal crewmate standing still doing nothing. After that, we might do some kill animations and hats and everything else. Step one. We need to decide on what this actually is. So we know they're in space, which means they must be some form of astronaut. That means that this is some sort of backpack, which probably has air canisters in it. And this is a visor, which we cannot see through. So we don't know what's inside. So the next Next thing that I need to do is start finding things that I'm going to use for this avatar. And the first thing I'm going to get is a visor. That's right, literally any of these will do, but I want a very, very specific one. Okay, so let's just paste that in here. And also, we're going to need to get ourselves a beautiful body suit. So I just had a quick Google to see what material astronaut suits are made of. And it clearly says right here, ortho fabric, aluminized mylar, and a ton of other things that I just do not understand. But if we look online, something like what this guy is wearing is the exact kind of material I would expect them to wear. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we now have our beautiful suit fabric. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is actually draw out the shape of our avatar, and this one is a little bit dodgy, so this is gonna be kind of hard, but yep, I'm just literally gonna try and get a rough shape, very similar, but a little bit more realistic to what it would look like, and then once I've done that, I will change the color. Next up, we need the backpack. Okay, so let's cut our visor shape out. I'm gonna have to square this up a little bit more just to make it look realistic. So I'm gonna add a really dumb shadow just for one second so I can get an idea of adding some depth to this image. Okay, so I've actually just noticed right now that these characters have arms to kill each other, but you never actually see them. Anyways, what I'm gonna do now is start adding the shadow that you can see here and colorizing the image. So what I actually need to do now is start adding shadows to this. So I'm gonna start adding shading to our body first of all. Okay, with our highlights now completed, it is time for us to finally fix, uh, the visor, because this looks terrible. Like, really bad. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I decided to change the visor because I didn't like the last one. It was way too low quality and this is realistic Not low quality. So yeah, we're gonna start changing the settings of what we have right here to make this look absolutely perfect Starting with making it a bit lighter and then again darker Then I need to start adding some shading to this because glass is super reflective You know like how when a fire type attacks a water type next up I'm gonna make this item look 3d by simply adding a bit of depth to it because at the minute it, it just does not look 3d at all okay so at this point i feel like this whole design is looking way too clean i need to make some more adjustments that's right i think something like this maybe a little bit less is perfect okay so i had this idea that these suits would actually need to be made so what i've done is added a stitching like this and i actually kind of like it okay what we need to do next is add ourselves a background to make this thing really pop and look realistic and then we are done and there we go ladies and gentlemen that is the first among us character completed. I have to be honest, I really like the way this one turned out. I do think this is exactly how they look. I wonder how they'd feel if you, like, 
poke them in the belly. Just, just poke them. The next one that I want to do, I can actually already use this existing model for. And that is that I want to do one that's like cut in half with the bone coming out. And then after that, we are going to do an Among Us imposter killing a crewmate. So let's get on with the second design. So this is the model that we just made. Looks like a flipping Randy to me. And this is the same model, but in blue. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously blue is my color, so I'm gonna be the one that dies, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, I'm dying today. Okay, so for this one, we don't actually need the top of our head. Bye-bye! <laughs> there we go. And now we need to literally fill in this area, which I'm gonna make black to start off with, just like this. And make it look like the inside of a body. Okay, so we're gonna put this on like this. And now let's start making this as dark as possible from the bottom like this. Something like that, ladies and gentlemen, looks pretty good to me. Now, the next thing we need to do is literally get ourselves some sort of bone that would stick out. I think I may have found the perfect one, ladies and gentlemen, an ultra-realistic looking bone. Yep, looks pretty good to me. <laughs> next up, we need to cut this bone out so that it actually comes out of the body without this giant white square Because that is going to completely ruin the illusion and we can't be ruining the illusion today ladies and gentlemen So to fix that we are literally gonna make it whiter by removing the saturation v very simple guys super simple Yep, just like that <laughs> <laughs> this looks pretty good. So obviously their backpack ends like this, but this is a realistic version, meaning that this would actually come across a bit further. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, and just like that, that is pretty much done. Now, again, I just need to add a background, and let's see how good this looks. Yep, not bad. Not bad at all. In fact, we can literally add the other imposter literally in the game with him or right behind him. Literally just, like, lurking in the shadows over here. In fact, guys, I can literally add the other player as an imposter in the background just staring at the body that they just killed that's right purple is definitely an imposter's color i kind of want to add blood to make this even more realistic but unfortunately i will uh i will get them monetized <laughs> so i'm not gonna do that i mean kind of <laughs> okay so we just finished what it looks like when you've been killed by a player now let me show you what it looks like being killed by a player and i have the perfect death animation for this creation that's right there's a lot to pick from but this one right here is my favorite and also one of the hardest i think we're gonna have to make okay so for the third design guys what i'm gonna do is use my original creation and then create a whole new one as the imposter also i just realized i forgot to add hats so this time we're gonna be adding them and i think the perfect color for this character is going to be green with a leaf on top of their head okay so let's grab our leaves real quick one just like this okay and let's position those leaves perfectly and actually they look quite good okay and now with this character almost created i think it is time to give him this crazy mouth and i honestly have no idea how i'm going to do this okay and i'm thinking something a little bit like this did that work did it? Okay, it doesn't look too bad, guys. We can definitely work with this. Okay, so what we need to do now is create the inside of our mouth, which is literally just going to be a really thin line around the outside. Something a little bit like this, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be the inside of our mouth. Okay, and now with our inner mouth done, it is time for us to find some beautiful, pearly, sharpy white teeth. This, this could take a while. Found them. This is the tooth I'm going to be using for my bottom teeth. It looks like we have three or four. Let's just see how many we can get in here. And then again i can actually use these for the top teeth but again these are all gonna need so much adjusting and playing about with yep i actually think that looks really good <laughs> yeah. are you kidding me i don't know what do you guys think comment down below which teeth you prefer these or these I think these look more realistic, but I think these might look better. I really don't know. You know what? I think I'm going to go with these and just bring them in a bit. Okay, so next up is really simple. We need to add this incredibly long pointy thing. I don't even know what it is. That's right. Something like this. And now let's stick that inside of my mouth. And let's have it coming out nice and long like that. I can't really see what's going on. But yeah, this is actually looking quite good. I am not gonna lie. Okay, so now we need to work out where the other person's head is gonna be. It looks like it's gonna be about here. So I need to make sure I angle this stick so that it fits my face absolutely perfectly. Which looks like it's gonna be about 
there, ladies and gentlemen. And then finally, let's add some shading to this bad boy because obviously it would not be of the same color the whole way. So let's just go like that. And uh, yep, that actually looks pretty good, guys. Okay, now we need to decide where we want the crack to be. And I'm thinking around about here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll start the crack there and just work it out. Okay, now we've done the cracked glass. That actually looks pretty epic. What I want to do next is try and make this look like it's actually going through. Next, I want to add some actual shattered glass. And I'm really not too sure how I'm going to do this. Maybe like that. And let's just put these pieces around here. So it looks like the pieces have been shattered. And now next up, we are actually unfortunately going to have the bit of uh, the B word into this one. Because otherwise, it kind of doesn't make sense what is going on here. Something a little bit like this. I can't believe I'm doing this. Now, I know I keep using this background, but it just fits so well. I think we're going to try and use it again. If it doesn't work, we will change it. Okay, so at this point, this is what we are looking like. I still want to make a few adjustments, though. Okay, I'm really liking the way this one is looking. I've just changed the shape of my Among Us character on the left from this to this because I felt like it added a bit of a push to the character. I still want to do one more thing, though, to make this look good. That's right. We needed a banana. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, I am super happy with how this turned out. I didn't even know I could make this in Photoshop. But guys, there is definitely one more thing we need to add to make this perfect. We need to add a little crewmate. That's right, so let's put our pet inside of this beautiful animation. Okay, so here we go. I don't know how big the pets roughly are. I'm pretty sure they're about this big. Just like that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, looks pretty good to me. The shy, ladies and gentlemen, I don't really know what else to add right now. I feel like this is kind of a perfectly finished piece. If you do have any suggestions what you think I could add to something like this to make it better, tell me in the comment section down below. But yes, guys, that is going to be it from me today. If you guys did enjoy this video, then please do hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? And hopefully I see you all in the next video. Goodbye!